What's up YouTube, it is your boy Darius Official and I am back with another video. Alright, so cool. Check it out, right? This story y'all never really heard before. And this story is going to be a little bit shocking and also a little bit theatrical. Listen, um, I know on my page that I do have a story time about my first time. However, my first time was my first time bottoming. But we're not talking about that man right now because that man is crazy and he is a stripper. And I feel played. I feel used and abused. I feel like damaged goods. <laughs> If you if you seen the video, you know, you know, if you know, you know, if you have not seen the video, click the little eye thingy right there and just wait, is it this side or that side? Click the little eye logo, wherever it is. Okay, so my first real time bottoming. It was pretty, well, it started off pretty simple. I thought that it was simple, but um, it didn't happen like that. So let's talk about it, right? So boom, this was after my first time. So the person, y'all already know, I don't say people's names. So we're going to name this person, Sean. All right, so boom. So me and Sean known each other for um, about, I want to say a good year at the time. And up until, you know, we done what we did. Me and Sean have always been friends. I've known her from my school. You know, Sean was cool people. At the time, I didn't know that Sean was into dudes. And I don't know if he knew that I was either, but probably so because my voice was high as hell. It's so funny because at the time, I was 15 and Sean was... Sean was 16. He was about to be 17. And then y'all already know, like, I have to give y'all a description of what the person looks like. So, Sean was, like, brown skin. He was, like, a brown skin, light skin. Like, he was, like, this, but a little bit, like, darker, but not brown skin. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what to call it, like, caramel skin. He was tall. He had a low-cut, crispy hairline and nice teeth and, like, I don't know, fucking hazel green eyes or some shit like that. It was fucking, I don't know. But he was, he was a blessing he was fine had to be every bit of six foot or something like that which makes sense because you want a basketball team who wants a short nigga on a basketball team right so um sean had a car he had a job sean was cool and sean was on the basketball team so you know in my head i'm like you know i'm kind of feeling the dude because i don't know it's something about that like you on your shit i mean we only 16 we all kids and shit but i was like dang you on your shit like i don't know that seemed pretty like dominating to me you know what i mean so why not beat up the boom boom? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But like I said, I've always known Sean. We we never really hung out in person. We just always kicked it at school. Like we had the same lunch together and we also had gym together. Things were smooth sailing, right? Now at this time I was a sophomore and I was in photography class. So I had everything to do with like all the cameras, who to talk to, you know, how to work the cameras and stuff like that and edit on like Photoshopping apps and stuff like that. And Sean wanted to take like professional pictures corresponding with him playing basketball so one day he asked me while we were at lunch and he was like hey bro you know are you free anytime this week i want to take some pictures so that i could have something for my portfolio blah blah, blah. and i was like portfolio i was like no what the fuck i'm like what portfolio like you not a senior yet relax but he was just talking about like you know like a collage of photos and shit but at the time i wasn't putting two and two together this nigga was trying to fool so boom i was like um i was like well i'm not doing nothing later on today and he was like uh today i'm a little busy so i was like okay cool so he said what about tomorrow i said all right fine the day went on and on and on i was at my last class which was photography i ended up getting a snapchat from sean right i didn't have sean's number but i had his snapchat like y'all know how do people work like y'all just niggas swear they sneaky but anyway so i got a snapchat from sean and he's like hey bro actually we can do it today so i was like okay how you want this to work i was like do you want me to ride joe bus home or and he was like no i drove my car to school so we could just you could just hop in my car and we could go so i said Okay. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, like, at the time, yes, I had a crush on Sean, but my mind wasn't revolved around, like, sexual activities, you know what I mean? It was just like, okay, cool, like, Sean, Sean, you know what I mean? So, whatever, right? Anyway, so, we were getting out of ninth period, and I was going to my locker, and I was telling my best friend that I wasn't gonna be on the bus today. She was like, well, where are you going? I was like, I gotta, you know, do 
this project and shit. I didn't even want to tell her what he was saying because I knew it kind of sound iffy, but I don't know. So boom, I had text Sean. I was like, yo, where you at? I was like, I'm at my locker. He was like, I'm at my locker. Walk to my locker. So boom, I walked to his locker and then like we walked out together and shit. It was like four of us. It was Sean, me, and it was a girl and this other guy that I'm not even going to say their names because they are relevant in the story. We all were walking towards Sean's car. They hopped in the car and I hopped in the car with Sean. Now mind y'all, this is my first time ever being inside of his car and going to his house. He had an okay car for him to be 16 but the nigga's car was like a boy's car like you know what i mean like i mean i'm a boy but his car was like a boy's car like it was junky it wasn't dirty it was just junk i was like okay but i was kind of shocked because i'm like you come to school with these jordans on you know yo yeah you fleeing shit you looking nice and you smelling good so i was like what the fuck like you always keep your hair cut you can't fucking get a clorox bleach wipe and clean out your fucking car like i mean how the fuck you expect us to thrive how do you think we gonna like make it in life together like you can't be doing me like that like no so anyway so we got in his car and we drove to his house. Now, let me tell you guys, when I was in high school, I had a pretty decent house. It was like middle class. Like it was like three bedrooms, living room, family room, dining room, kitchen with an island. Like it was, it was cool. Like it was a nice house, you know what I mean? But he was on the wealthy, wealthy end. Like his fucking parents did taxes for a fucking life and his dad owned fucking NBA or something. Like his house was huge. So I was like, damn nigga, I didn't know like you, like you come from money, money. Like, you know shit, like niggas over here scamming it. No. He like, oh yeah. He told me where his mom worked from. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Cause it's so funny because he was, he lived in the district, but like not in the district. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's, I don't know, it was weird, but I was like, okay. So I'm sitting outside of his house and I asked him, I say, well, do your mom know? I was like, who's here? He was like, oh, my mom's here. My, uh, my dad's will be here soon. I was like, oh, do your parents know you have a company? And it was like, no. I was like, Okay, so I was like, well, are, we, are you taking the pictures out here? And he was like, no, no. He was like, we could go kick it in my room first. I was like, and do what? Because I don't do the things that you do. You play NBA 2K. I fucking play with press on nails. No, <laughs> no, there's no plan. I, I swear to God, I'm kidding. I never did fucking. I, it was that one time. No, I'm, I'm just playing. I'm just... <laughs> No, but so I told him, I'm like, bro, like, I was like, okay. So we go into his house. For one, it's just fucking huge. Like, I'm pretty sure his mother's room was a good fucking five miles away from his room. So he probably didn't need to tell her that he was having company because she would have never fucking known. Or that's what I thought. Because we walked inside of the house and you know how the alarm system be like, front door open. Like, that shit was loud as hell. Like, it echoed throughout the whole fucking house. But shit, ain't nobody pop out. So I guess his fucking mama was dead or had sleep or croaked over or something. So we walk up the flight of stairs. That's like it's a fucking grand staircase in front of like the fucking foyer and it just splits into like this big old just open area so anyway we walk upstairs and we go into his room and his room was huge as fuck like it was like a fucking man cave but with so much shit to it like this nigga had darts a fucking pool table and then you walk through this little hallway of his room and he has his room with his bed and his tv i was like what the fuck bro i was like why do you need all this space like i'm sorry i was i'm still shocked to this day you know shit like fuck a nigga come from poverty damn near like uh cut the check <laughs> but yeah so we get up in his room and the first thing that he does is cuts on the fucking game and turns on 2k when i was telling y'all how i made that joke and telling him like i don't play 2k i was just playing like i didn't think he was like like it's so funny because i didn't think that he was really gonna cut on 2k but it makes sense so anyway so i'm just sitting there like trying to fucking act like i'm interested and i really couldn't so i just end up pulling out like my camera and my homework for a photography class and i'm just scrolling through the pictures and doing everything i need to critique and stuff like that so boom about a good 10 minutes into him playing the game he hops up and he goes to the bathroom as he's walking out he asks me do i want some water and i'm like sure at this point i'm still thinking in my head like what the freak bro like what's about to go on like i'm in this man's house is he trying to kidnap me is he on like some get out shit like i don't know like what's going on right he came back or at least I thought he came back. I heard the door open. Well, guess who came in the room? We, I mean, I'm fully clothed. I'm working and shit, so it didn't matter. But guess who came in the room? His mama. Like, his mom came in and she called his name. She was like, hey, shut and she kind of looked down a little hallway thingy into, like, you know, his little man cave into the room. And she's like, oh, hi, who are you? And I was like, his man. And I was <laughs> And I was like, hi, I'm Darius. Nice to meet you. She was like, oh. She was like, Sean didn't tell me he was having company. I was like, oh, I, I'm sorry. I wouldn't introduce myself, but I just I just thought that we were just doing homework. And she was like, oh, okay. So she was like, oh, well, nice to meet you. I'm blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, nice to meet you too. She was like, are you hungry? You want some snacks? You want some water? The hospitality was there, baby. I felt like I was part of the family. I'm like, hey, ma, what's up? Like, ma, when you gonna let me marry your son? Yo, me? Anyway, I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm okay. He said that he was gonna go 
give me a glass of water right now. She was like, oh, okay. And she talking to me, asking me questions like, do I have a job? She asked me how old I was and shit like that. And I'm like, 15. Like, girl, she was like, oh, are y'all, do y'all have classes together? I was like, ma'am, like, you asking me a lot of fucking questions. Anyway, so I answered all of her questions. She left her fat ass out the room. Sean ended up coming back into the room and he gave me the water. And he was like, why was my door open? I was like, your mom came up in here. And he was like, oh, for real? He was kind of shocked. I was like, yeah. I was like, what you, like, you're not supposed to be having company. He was like, no, no, no. But she just, I don't know, like, she be being nosy. I was like, you, what, didn't you tell her, like, we was working and stuff? He was like, I mean, no, I mean, I could have. I was like, okay, because, you know, it just went all adding up. I was like, you seem like you up to something. Like, I feel like you trying to kill me. And he did with that. Dude. But, um, anyway, so he was about to cut on the game. I literally just grabbed the remote. And I was like, bro, I was like, are we about to take these pictures or what? He was like, you got somewhere to be. And I'm like, no, but I mean, like, I thought that's what I came over here for. Yo ass playing the game. I don't even play the fucking game. He was like, dang, okay, relax. So, boom. He trying to go over the fucking schemes. He don't even sound like he's making sense. Like, he don't even have a fucking jersey to put on, yet alone the ball for the fucking picture. He says that the ball is in his dad's car, in his trunk. And because he had a game and shit like that and all this. And I'm just like, okay. Like, all right. So, I was like, so you knew you weren't prepared. He was like, yo, I mean, I ain't think you was going to be trying to rush. I thought that you were going to. Like, boy, shut your ass up. So, I'm like, okay. So, I'm just sitting there chilling, right? I let him play the game again. I'm scrolling on my phone. At this time, I was on Vine. At this time, I was on Vine. And I remember because I was watching Summerella. And I was laughing. And I remember he was like, what you watching, right? Now, mind you, I'm about to tell y'all how I was laying on his bed. I'm about to show y'all, okay? <laughs> So when I was laughing like that and I turned around on my stomach, right? This nigga, bro, the boldest shit ever, bro. When I tell you the boldest shit ever, I was like, whoa, what the fuck is that? So as I turned around on my stomach, he like got over me and was like, what you laughing at? I was like, bro, what the fuck? And I looked at him and said, bro. And he was like, no homo. And then move real fast. And I was like, and then he laughed it off, so I just kind of chuckled it off because even back then, like, I had some friends who would play gay and do stuff like that. Okay, and I'm not gonna lie, in lunchtime, Sean used to, like, he used to play gay, but it never was like that. Like, he never touched. He always just be like, hey, bro, you cute today. No homo. And then, like, he'd laugh about it. Like, so I was like, okay. I used to say the same thing back, but, like, I actually meant mine. Anyway, so boom. He like, bro, you should play me in 2K. I was like, no, I'm good. Like, I'm good. I'm good. He kept asking. He like, play me in 2K. Play me in 2K. I was like, bro, I don't know how. He was like, I'm gonna just show you. I fucking suck at if you ever looking for me to be on your basketball team, don't pick me. So I was like, all right, so boom, he gave me the controller and I sat on the floor next to him. And mind you, we was like, he was in the front and like the foot of his bed. So that part of the bed, he was in like at the foot of it. And he was sitting on the floor, I sat on the floor next to him. So I'm looking up and I'm like, all right, so what are I pressing? He's like, just press that, boom. So we doing a little test drive, like a little draft, right? So then he's like, all right, you ready to play a real game? And I'm like, a real game? What you mean? He was like, with like people and shit. I was like, for real? He's like, yeah. So I'm like, let's do it against computer. He was like, okay. Boom, so we playing right, and mind you, we on the same team, and my dumb ass, I kid, he kept saying pass the ball or shoot it or blah, 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 I didn't know what the fuck I was doing, I was playing XO triangle, and so when, I don't know, he must have got super frustrated, or he knew what the fuck he wanted to do, he's like, no, not like that, he was like, let me show you, so he took the controller, and he was like, like that, and so as I was going, I was still fucking up, and then he was just like, man, he was like, like this, and he got up right, and mind you, I'm, I'm sitting down at the foot of bed, he got up, and he went like, on the bed and was right like I was <laughs> I was like in between his legs and my back was right there and he was like this and he kind of like wrapped his arms around and he was like he was like no like this and he was guiding my fingers at this point bro like I felt like I was in a movie like my mind wasn't even like able to kind of grasp what was happening I was just like like I was holding control I was like I just I remember like when I said it was so theatrical like it felt like so theatrical like so dramatic like I was in a movie so I kind of just like turned my head and I was like and I looked at him and he looked at me he was like you got it and I was like yeah and he was like, okay, cool. And then after that, it was like, it got kind of like quiet. And I just kind of like sat down. And he just kind of like sat down next to me again. And I was like, so we start playing the game, but my mind is still like somewhere else. And I'm pretty sure his was, but maybe he was just hiding it a little bit better than I was. And I was like, okay, so I don't know. Even thinking about it now, it's like, it's crazy. But um, anyway, so we were still playing the game and I just told him, I kind of told him, I'm like, I, I don't think I want to play no more. He was like, okay, that's fine. He was like, so what you want to do? I was like, it doesn't matter. We can't fucking take the pictures for your thing because who knows when your dad's coming back and he was like right he was like you want to watch a movie <laughs> and i was like yeah that's cool 
I don't know why I'm like smiling right now because that shit it was funny. Anyway, so we we was watching the movie. Uh, he cut on like Insidious or some shit like that. I don't know. It was one of those scary movies. And I nowadays I will tell anybody without any hesitation like I don't like scary movies. I don't like scary movies. I don't like scary movies. They like I don't know. It just does something to me. I, I don't like scary movies at all. The only great way I could really watch a scary movie is if I'm watching it with a group of people or maybe like one good person that could fucking cuddle me or some shit, right? But at that time I did not say anything because I didn't want to seem like a pussy. I was just like, okay, so we sitting there, we watching it, and like my dumb ass, I'm on his bed, he's on his bed as well, and I'm just kind of like, is the movie start getting scary and scary and I'm trying not to watch it I'm picking up my phone and shit and he like bro put your phone down and watch the movie I'm like all right but I feel dumb thinking about it now because I know I probably look stupid but I'm sitting there like every and every time something scary happens I'm like hey, I jump and shit and you can feel it and he like what the fuck so anyway right after that he was like he was like bro you scared I was like I don't really fuck with scary movies I'm like I ain't scared but it's some good parts of it he was like yo ass scared you shaking I was like no I'm not so he nudged me he was like yes you he was like look at your leg you shaking I'm like bro no I'm not so <laughs> So he pushed me and then I pushed him back and then it kind of turned, that turned into like a little, I don't know what to call it, like a little wrestling moment. Like we were literally sitting there like wrestling and shit. I remember when I told y'all like Buddy was tall, he's already like fucking taller than me. So we sitting there wrestling and I'm trying to fucking, like I'm I'm low key getting serious. Like, <laughs> cause I don't fucking, I can't play fight. I don't know how to play fight. Like I'd be ready to fucking fight for real, but. We wrestling this shit and boom. So I don't know how he did it, but he hit his head against the headboard and like y'all. So I remember how I told y'all he got a low haircut. So he felt that shit and it was like boom. And then I started laughing. He started laughing. But when I started laughing, I was like, I was like, yo, dumb ass, bro. And the way he started laughing, like he was over me because we was wrestling. But like he started laughing and he like put his head into my neck and started laughing. He was like, damn, that shit hurt. And I was like, Whew. I thought that he was gonna instantly move and he didn't. And he was literally sitting there rubbing his head and I'm just like this, as he like, got, like he's over me, he has his head in my neck and I was like, <laughs> and he's still like rubbing his head. And then I remember he looked up at me and he was like, his exact words was, I can't even flex. And I said, what? And he crawled up a little bit and kissed me. And all I gotta say is, take me back to when I was 15. 15 me please, because we was sitting there kissing for like a long ass time. And I don't know, I wasn't experienced when it came to anything sexual. So kissing was enough for me. Like I could do that shit for hours and not, you know, be like, oh, I don't know. But we was sitting there kissing for like a good, literally like a good 15 minutes. And he started lifting up my shirt. I started lifting up his. And next thing you know, clothes were off. Bro, thinking about it, it's so funny because I was a kid, bro. Like, what, are, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you're being nasty at 15. Like, bro, sit your ass down. So I didn't, I, I mean, I figured how he got down. Like, he was, he was going to be the top and shit. But I had to make sure, like, you know, because it'd be some tall bottoms out here who'd be trying to play basketball. And they, like, getting their salad tossed. So in the middle of it, I said, are we about to? He was like, if you want to. I was like, I was like, yeah, I guess. That's cool. And he was like, okay, then I want to too. Like our clothes was literally off and he was looking at me. I was looking at him. I said, you ever done anything with a guy before? And he was like, once. And he was like, what about you? I said, once too. He was like, he never had the S word with a guy, but he did get hit from one. And I was like, well, I actually had the S word with the guy. And he was like, oh, I was like, yeah. So I kind of like took his mail V card. He was like, I'm gonna tell you this now. Like I'm not looking to get penetrated. And I was like, that's fine. Like, I hope not. You are, you are already masculine and you on the basketball team. If you get your salad toss, I'm gonna just just look at you like you a sister and i'm gonna be honest with y'all right at this time i was still a kid and i knew nothing about like you know being like protected and stuff so we didn't have a condom <laughs> which was fine because luckily he had nothing and i didn't have anything either but still though just thinking about it to this day like i wouldn't even put myself in a predicament like that because you gotta be safe like we were literally not prepared we were just two teenagers laying there on the bed butt naked we literally had no condoms no lube nor nothing and at that time i told y'all like i only had one body i didn't know anything about lube for real like i knew what lube was but i didn't think that i needed it or i don't know like i mean it's a booty hole you're gonna need lube right well i don't know some of y'all y'all be using lube y'all I'm, I'm a little worried
story. Anyway, yeah, so he was like, okay, well, are you ready? I was like, yeah. It actually reminded me of, y'all ever watched the movie uh, Love and Basketball? That's what it reminded me of. So I was really trying to like cherish the moment because my first time with that person was not the best. That person was very rough and didn't know what they were doing. So I kind of was trying to cherish this moment in, in hopes that he knew what he was doing as well. So yeah, you know, he ended up like, <sighs> getting everything moist with his saliva and then it was time to get the action like everything was moving so fast but yet so slow he ended up like putting it inside i was on my back and he was over me and i just remember like like i knew i knew what his size was because i looked at it it was a pretty big size like for a for one, for a 16 year old, like it was fucking crazy. I feel like a pedophile now talking about it. I mean, he's 21 now, but <laughs> then you know, oh wait, he's 22 now. It doesn't matter. Anyway, yeah, and he ended up like putting it in and it was, it felt like it wasn't gonna stop. Like, I just, I don't know, it was weird. So I just remember sitting there feeling like, so like, I felt like, I kind of felt, I felt like he was being careful, but I also felt kind of, what's the word? Like, I don't want to say helpless, but like, I just, I, the, it was kind of uncomfortable because like I said, it was only my second time. And then, I don't know, it, was, it just felt like, I don't know, weird. I was trying to get comfortable and it didn't happen until like a little bit after when he started being verbal. We love a verbal man. He's like slow stroking, you know, going on and out, going in and out slowly. And I'm sitting there like, cause it really hurt. Like, and I was like, it didn't, it hurt, but it was like uncomfortable hurt. I don't know, it was, it was bad. And I'm just like, I'm like, okay, like slower, slower. He like, bro, I'm like going slow. I was like, okay, so he ended up saying like, breathe. Like, I got you, You're good. I was like, okay. After that, I kind of like, I don't know, he was like really opening me up, you know? So it wasn't that bad. You know, now we were really doing the thing. We stayed in one position though, which was fine with me. We stayed in one position because I wasn't ready to switch. I don't know, like that just seemed like too pro for me. Like I'm I'm not a pro at this. So, you know, you're gonna have to work with me. So he like going, going, going. And he's looking at me the whole time. Like, I feel like we probably kissed only like four times maybe throughout the duration of us being sexually connected. The thing lasted about like a good hour, like literally. So for us to not kiss, which was, and it's not like he didn't want to kiss me because we were just kissing but he was like so focused on like dang i'm really doing this like what it do you know what i mean and he was it seemed like because i had to guide him with everything he was doing like a good job for a person who was having a first time with the dude you know first time with dudes are usually like rough but um it was going pretty smooth so you no know, he was looking at me i was looking at him and then i don't know we was just going and going i remember looking at him i'm like this man is fine like i don't know like i used to get so like i don't know like back then i used to really have butterflies like my stomach used to drop shit like that you know what i mean now i'm a real nigga that shit don't happen like that you know gang gang no homo bro boom you know oh block gang gang but anyway yeah and then it was time for the ejaculation part so i was looking at him and then i just kind of felt like and he just like laid his head down he was just like and we were both like breathing it was it was crazy like it was a vibe we were both breathing heavy <laughs> it was crazy but um and i was like did you inside of me he was like he was like yeah was i not supposed to he was like I, you know more about this than i do and i was like first off we know about the same amount because nigga only have fucking one my hands and he like i was like no but i think we okay i think we fine he was like okay okay we literally laid there butt naked while he was still inside of me <sighs> His mom ended up calling his phone and was like, hey, do you still have company? And she was, and he was like, yeah. She was like, well, I'm in the office. Your dad will be here soon. And he says that we're supposed to be going to your Nana's house. And so he was like, okay. He was like, well, I'm going to drop off my friend right quick. And then she was like, okay, we end up putting on our clothes. It was just so weird. Like we didn't talk about, we didn't, we didn't talk about none of, like we talked about nothing. It was, it was just like, it was so awkward. Like it wasn't awkward. It was just like, we did it. It was awkward. I don't know. Um, we put on on our clothes and I just grabbed my camera my book bag and everything and we were walking out and I said bye to his mom because I had to walk past her office when we went downstairs we walked out we went to his car the car ride to my house was a little bit silent it was really silent like I tried to say some things and he tried to say some too but it just kind of just felt like awkward like we were in the car and he's like you cold and I was like no I was like where's your nana stay and he was like oh, over here I was like okay it was so awkward anyway so we pulled up to my house and we were just sitting in the car and I was like looking at the dashboard and he was like looking out the window and I looked at him I was like so and he just nodded I was like, 
It was so awkward, bro. I was like, I don't know. And then he looked at me again and he was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. And he was like, okay. I was like, are you okay? And he was like, yeah, I'm fine. I was like, okay. And he was like, I don't know what to say now, but I definitely do have to tell you something. I was like, well, tell me. He was like, I'll just wait till you get in the house. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, tell me now. He was like, no, I prefer to text it to you. I was like, okay. So, boom, by this time, he was like, I don't have your number, so give me your number. And I told him, like, just kick me. <laughs> Y'all learned that this time, bro, we had kicking shit. Like, <laughs> I gave him my kick, and then um, I left out of the car just kind of like, I didn't know what to do. I was like, do I hug him? Do I dab him? Do I shake his hand? But I was just like, all right. And he was like, all right. And I was like, okay. And I just left out, and I went in my house, and... My mom, she was like, where you been? Like, you ain't called me, you ain't text me. She was like, you was down at Skylar's house? And I was like, no, nah, I stopped at my friend's house after like we was doing homework. And she was like, oh, okay. She was like, well, next time just call me because you know. And she claimed that she called me, but I really didn't see the call. I really didn't, or did I? And I was just getting bust down like playing James. About 10 minutes went past and I got a kick and he was like, yo. And I was like, what's up? And he was like, so I think I like you, but I feel like I shouldn't. And I was like, what? He literally told me and said, I can't be gay. He's like, yeah. I have basketball and I have all of these all this stuff and I'm supposed to be having scholarships for college in a few years I was like well me either I was like you know I got photography and music and stuff and at this time I was DL of course so he was like yeah so what do we do I was like I don't know he was like just keep it between us I was like yeah so he was like well we should definitely hang out more like you should come over more and I was like okay and then literally we got to school the next day and everything was normal and I cherished that so fucking much like I, I literally, even to this day, I cherish it because you can't come back after certain things. Like, the vibe just isn't there no more. Like, you won't joke around. But literally, like, we got back to school and he was still, like, play, like, flirt and stuff. And he was like, oh, you cute today. Boom, body being in front of everybody. And they be like, bro, like, you gay. And they was like, oh, this nigga gay. And he's like, man, shut your ass up. Like, you know, we playing and stuff. So I was like, okay, cool. And yeah, like, it, the vibe wasn't off. Like, we still kicked it throughout school and still had the same friend group. Still, you know, it was, it was cool. It was a vibe. So we hung out a few more times. We did like a, a lot of more times at that time like I felt like we were talking but just nobody knew and then he ended up getting a girlfriend on me <laughs> And I was so mad and he apologized, broke up with his girlfriend. He tried to talk to me again. I wasn't going, but yeah, you know, it was that type of thing. To this day, I don't know what he's doing with his life. I am friends with the guy on Facebook still, but like, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing with his life. Probably a professional NBA basketball player by now, so, you know. But yeah, y'all, that's my story time. Um, I hope that y'all enjoyed it. I kind of missed him. <laughs> No, but for real, I hope that y'all enjoy it. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, click that bell on the side so that you be notified. Make sure to tell a friend or two because it is good for you. And if you haven't, make sure that you go watch my last videos. I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching and I will see y'all in my next YouTube video. Bye.